Yoga, am I wrong, or does this radish look like me? You're not wrong. I hand-carved each one in your likeness. <laughs> Go on, eat your face. Eat your face! He's right, Simon. These are all you. Well, not all. I threw in a few John Waynes. Nothing livens up a salad like the Duke. <laughs> Simon? Got him! We're going to Paul McCartney. Oh, ah! Had's outstanding. Fitzroy Centre. And it's Carnegie Hall. Old ushers. I can finally rush the stage and touch Paul! <laughs> <laughs> I, I always like Ringo. He was dreamy. Not me. I was a Paul girl all the way. Oh, how I loved him. I loved all of them. Once they hit, British was in. All the girls dug my accent. Oh, yeah, your accent is great. It's too bad it comes out of that face. <laughs> Ringo girls were always the most bitter. <laughs> That's me, Simon Ferguson, the actor. And my ex-husband. We were married 20 years ago for 12 days. And then we went our separate ways. A string of hits for me, and then some misses. Two more ex-husbands and two terrific kids for me. And look at you now, Hadley, managing the Metropolitan Hotel. And you, no job and no place to stay. Together again. What a team, Hadley. Mr. Ferguson, here is your dry cleaning. Oh, Yorgo, that's very kind of you. I'm perfectly capable of running my own errands. Could you take these upstairs for me? <laughs> and if you ever need a favor, please feel free to call me. Oh, well, there is one thing, a small favor, teeny tiny. I would like you to fly to my homeland of Pelopius and stab my brother in the heart until he's dead, dead, dead. <laughs> And afterwards, you can see some sights. Yorga, I'm not going to kill your brother. But I picked up your dry cleaning. Well, and someday I'll pick up yours, and then we'll be even. How lame is that? You guys are not going to believe this. Spike Lee was filming a movie across from our school, and a bunch of us went over to watch, and he asked me to be in it. Oh! Really? Where? What street? Are they still there? Will there be night shooting? Simon, let her tell her story. It was so exciting, Bob. Spike Lee ran over to me and he said, You, run across the street. So I did. The same thing happened to me when I was your age, except that it was a, a John Gielgud movie, and he said to me, You, get off the set, and that food is for the crew. <laughs> since I was on stage, but oh, how I loved it, particularly the musicals. I remember one in particular. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. You're not gonna sing, are you? <laughs> well, not now. <laughs> Simon, when he yelled action, it was like, I felt like I was gonna throw up, but in a good way. Sounds like somebody's been bitten by the old acting bug. You think I could be an actress? Well, it's not a matter of thinking. If it's in your blood, there's nothing you can do to stop it. You'll do anything. You'll make any sacrifice for your art. Yeah, and it wasn't like work at all. Bullseye. <laughs> Keep it quiet. Ben, it's time to start your homework. Oh, we can wait. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. I'll go now. <laughs> oh, Simon, your goes in the kitchen sobbing and mumbling something about dry cleaning and murder and uh, having lost all meaning of life. Could you handle that? I've got to feel the stapler. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Ferguson. You are no longer welcome in my kitchen. Fine, I'll go. But first, I insist on knowing why you want me to kill your brother. I suppose I owe you that. <laughs> my brother is getting married to the woman who was promised to me. Oh, Yorgo, that's terrible for him to steal the woman you love. Love? I hate her. <laughs> she has a gutter mouth and a big caboose. <laughs> Been there, done that. Mr. Ferguson, I love my brother, but it doesn't matter. The Pelopian book of customs is very clear. What is that? Um, all right, I know it's uh, there. We go, chapter twelve. If a brother steals your woman, you must kill him in one of three ways. One, burn at the stake. Environmental law now precludes this. Number two, stoned by a mob. 
Very expensive. Somebody hits the wrong guy with a song, boom, I'm in court for years. Um, on number three, you can hire a buddy. See? That's where you come in. Yoga, are you saying that I'm your buddy? Well, how very disturbing. This is for me, and I will kill someone for you. <laughs> Yoga, don't think. Well, actually, I wouldn't mind you killing my agent. <laughs> And I think we're all a little tired of those Spice Girls. <laughs> it's, it's pretty hard, actually, to just narrow it down to one person. <laughs> Plus, killing is wrong. Says you. Well, do it yourself. Hello? I have a job. <laughs> Gwendolyn Francis, stop right there. Okay, I told Daniel it was underwear outside of your pants day. I didn't think he'd buy it. <laughs> Later on that, your principal called, and they're offering a college credit course in math and science, and you have qualified to be in it. Isn't that great news? I'll think about it. Well, think about it fast, because it starts on Wednesday after school. Well, then I definitely can't do it. I just signed up for drama classes. Drama class? Come on, this is for college credit. I don't know if I'm going to college. Not go to college? Wait a minute. Did you say not go to college? Because not go to college is like, <laughs> no. Well, it's not like we've talked about this much. Well, we don't talk about breathing either, but I still expect you to do it. <laughs> Mom, I don't need to go to college if I'm going to be an actress. Since when are you going to be an actress? Since you were an extra in a Spike Lee movie? Oh, come on. I know that was fun, but... Oh, Mom, but... I'm not doing this because it was fun. I'm doing it because it's in my blood. And if you want to be a great actress, you have to be willing to sacrifice everything for your art. I mean, when Simon and I were talking... Stop right there. <laughs> this isn't your idea. This is Simon. God, Mom. Give me some credit. I'm 15. I think I know what I want to do with the rest of my life by now. <laughs> Simon Ferguson! You have made my daughter want to be an actress. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> She says she's not going to college. She's not going to do anything that she said she was going to do before she talked to you. There will be an empty space on the wall where her diploma was going to go, Simon. What am I going to put in that space? Oh, you know what I like? That poster of the little kitten doing chin-ups that says, Hang in there, baby. What did you say to her? Nothing. We just talked about the fun of acting, that's all. Oh, and you tell her about the not fun parts of acting? The being broke, the constant rejection, the fact that almost no one ever makes it. Did you tell her about those parts, Simon? No. They'll cover that in acting class. Simon, Simon do you understand that this is not okay? Do you understand that you are overreacting? Simon, I am not. Gwen is a very smart girl. She could do something important with her life. She could do something meaningful. Well, Hadley, acting can be meaningful. It's certainly been very meaningful for me. I wasn't talking about you. I think you were. I also think that acting could be a lot more meaningful than, say, oh, I don't know, managing a hotel. Well, that was a cheap shot, and you are getting off the subject. No, I think we're getting to the subject. I think you're more than a little jealous of Gwen. Are you out of your tiny mind? <laughs> I understand. Gwen is pursuing the dream that you gave up. That's gotta hurt. Oh. You are so off base. And I did not give up my dream. I just put it on the back burner. I can go back to acting any time I want. Oh, please, you can never go back to acting. You haven't got the guts. That's why you haven't acted in years. Really? Well, neither have you. Well, what's that supposed to mean? It means that a long time ago you were a real actor with real talent, but that guy is long gone. You're lucky you're my only ex-wife at the hotel, or I'd be out of here! Rose, I picked up your dry cleaning. <laughs> I am not killing your brother. Where's Miss Hadley? Oh, don't even think about it. And I don't know where she is. Last night, she and Simon had this big fight. She threw the Paul McCartney tickets at me, and I haven't seen either one of them all day. For all I know, they killed each other. Oh, sure. 
they kill each other. But I ask them to kill my brother, but they won't kill my brother! <laughs> that, that just sucks! <laughs> Commitment! Risk-taking! That's why you take the John Mizell Acting Workshop. Emphasis on work. I'm so excited to be here. Now, let me be clear. I have taught Meryl Streep how to act. You have appeared in your high school production of Brigadoon. <laughs> Actually, I have a little more experience than that. I've done a commercial, a little summer stock, some off-Broadway, and Brigadoon. You know I could listen to you all day. Oh, wait. I already have. <laughs> He's kind of a meanie, isn't he? Now, acting is about aggressiveness, selling yourself. If that means bribing a doorman to get inside a director's apartment building so you can spring out at him to perform your audition piece, then do it! Is that legal? Springing out like that? I don't know. I, I don't think I'm much of a springer. <laughs> no, but you seem to be a talker. Now, why don't you come up here and start the improv exercise? Great. Improv. Let's go. Kirk, join us. Hi, Kirk. Hey. <laughs> All right. Now, you two have been in a passionate, volatile relationship for the last ten years, and now you're breaking up. Go! <laughs> Something funny, Miss Martin. Well, it's just that ten years ago he would have been twelve. That's why we call it acting. Focus! Right. Sorry. So, this thing we have, it's just not happening. So I'm out of here. <laughs> I've given you the best ten years of my life. I'm sorry, babe. It's the way it's gotta be. Don't let him go! Stop, wait! Don't go. You're... Grounded, go to your room. Stop! <laughs> Miss Martin, you are avoiding the pain in this situation. If he leaves, you will be empty. Well, I'm just, I'm really not feeling empty. Well, use your personal experience. What's painful to you? What is empty in your own life? Well, what's empty in my life? I don't know. Uh... Come on, be honest. I'm thinking, give me a minute. Uh... <laughs> what is that? It's, uh... Yorgo. What's a Yorgo? It's a who. And oh my god, he has a meat emergency. <laughs> Get back to the scene! Oh dear. That is so sweet. I, I have one of those where you can type in a message and my, my son has, has called in and, and typed in, Thank you for getting the nut out. I love you. <laughs> Are you gonna do this or not? You know what? I don't think so. I'm sorry, Kirk. Dump her. She's full of pain. I can see it in her face. I've got, to go. I've got kids and meat and nuts and I have a life. Uh, sorry. Thank you so much. You're all just fantastic, but I have a life. <laughs>